Are you having the Atma Karakas Mahadasha or Antardasha in your life? Did you had it? Are you having it now or will you have it in the future? Do you know there's a planet in your chart with the highest degree and it is known as the Atma Karaka, the planet that binds you to this material world that indicates your soul, what your soul is looking and searching. So today here are 10 crucial secrets of the Atma Karakas Dasha. This will apply to Mahadasha of your Atmakarak or Antar Dasha, all right? And it will also apply to Pratyantar and also it could apply to transits. But primarily, let us stick to Mahadasha and Antar Dasha, all right? So go to astrosage.com, check who is your Atmakarak and check when is the Mahadasha coming. If you don't, if you cannot find uh, and if your Mahadasha has come after 100 years or it already left, then check. When are the Antardashas coming in the next 50, 60, 70 years? All right. So, <clears throat> the Atmakarka is a very, very, very important planet. Not much discussed, but there are 10 chances which you can get actually during the Atmakarka's Dasha. All right. So, what is the first? The first chance is the most important of all. The first and the 10th. The 10th is the most important after the first. So the first chance is that you get a chance to uh, find your life purpose. Why? Because the Atmakarka is originally the sun. The sun is the Nasargik Atmakarak, who is the fifth lord and the fifth house shows purpose. So <clears throat> if you have a feeling that you do not know what you are doing in life or what you should do in life, then it can happen that during your Atmakarka's Dasha, Mahadasha Antar Dasha, you can get a hint you know suppose somebody comes up to you with some idea and then you start discussing on it so it could happen that you find your life purpose through that small discussion right now this discussion uh, may not lead to some professional uh, gains or name fame power position because the moment i say purpose people think i'm talking in terms of profession well not necessarily could be or may not be necessarily <clears throat> but what do you want to do in life why do you get up in the morning what what is that your soul wants? What is that your soul desires? That, that is something which you can actually know when your Atma Karakas Dasha comes. So be very vigilant during your Atma Karakas Dasha because that will tell you what you want in life or what you should want in life because that is what your soul has been wanting from millions of lifetimes, all right? Even billions and trillions, okay? Number two, during the Atma Karakas Dasha, you will get a chance to find your creativity very, very, very important. Not just superficially, but active engagement. So, as they say, we need three hobbies. You know, one to keep us in shape and one to make us money and one to keep us happily engaged, you know, intellectually also. So, uh, if you feel that you do not have any hobbies in life, then maybe the Atma Karakas Dasha will give you some very important clues. So it could happen, you know, that suddenly during the Atma Karakas Dasha, you are getting interest to learn, you know, something like, you know, singing, dancing, cooking, painting or anything. It could be hiking, driving, anything. So please make a note of it. And if that happens, do not ignore it. Don't think it is just, it's just a thing. Don't, don't ignore it like that. Think that it is your soul who is telling this to you. All right. So do not ignore your creative passion and your interests when the Atma Karakas Dasha comes or else you will lose out on yourself. Number three, very, very, very important. You get a chance to settle the previous lifetime's karma with other people. So <clears throat> when the Atma Karakas Dasha comes and somebody cheats on you, it's like you have cheated that person big time. Of course, uh, in any dasha, if somebody cheats you, it means you have you might have done something similar to that person in their previous lifetimes. But specifically, especially in the Atma Karakas dasha, if somebody comes and cheats you, oh boy, just just forget it, <laughs> because it means that now in the previous lifetimes. You hurt the person at a soul level. So now you are getting cheated at a soul level. Of course, that does not mean you don't uh, go to the court if there is, you know, some uh, uh, some you know financial scandal or, you know, some financial fraud. I'm not saying that. You go, you do whatever justice is required. But 
one of the most important things to do during an Atma Karakas Dasha is to know to give donations. Okay, donation not only of your money but also of your time and your uh, goodwill. Okay, so try to help people uh, that are needy. Try to help them financially or, you know, lend them a good ear to hear. Give them good advice. Provided they ask you, don't give unwanted advice. All right. And also, uh, try to be more on the giving end. You know, try to expect less during the Atma Karakas Dasha because <clears throat> mostly in the material world, we have given pain to others. And that pain, somebody comes and gives to us and we are on the receiving end. So, if somebody does wrong to you, then make sure you go through the right way of justice and don't take law into your own hands. You know? So don't do to them what they did to you. Of course, you may have to reply and give a necessary response. Nothing wrong with it, but don't create further bad karma. All right. Try to try to end the karma. If there's something bad, try to negotiate, try to do patch up and try to settle it. Okay. Because if you settle it now, then your karma will be completed. Otherwise, uh, it's a never-ending cycle when the Atma Karaka is involved, a very, very, very problematic situation. <clears throat> Number four, the Atma Karaka's Dasha can give a chance to you to fulfill your professional dreams. Now, what does this mean? This means that, see, what is the Atma Karak? Sun is the original Atma Karak. The sun gets directional strength, Dig Bali in the 10th house, right? So this means... One of the major reasons of being in the material world is we want to become somebody, right? We want to uh, stand on our knees. As in Hindi they say, Kutno pe khada hona sikho. <laughs> it's very interesting. Uh, the knee, Kutna, is actually Capricorn. They don't say, you know, apne pet pe khada hona sikho, apne dil pe khada hona sikho. No. They say, apne ghutno pe. So it's like, you know, they say, try to learn to stand on Capricorn, which is the original 10th house, right? <laughs> So, therefore, if uh, you have any long-standing desire in your profession and you want to implement them, then this is the best time. Do it. You will. You may be successful. Not that you will certainly, but if your Atma Karka is associated with the 10th house, 10th lord, 11th house, 11th lord, all the Lagna, all the Lagnesh, then it is highly likely that you will have grand success during its Dasha in the professional sphere. Okay. And this professional success will not be something casual. It will be something which you have desired from many, many lifetimes. Okay, very important. Number five, you get a chance to visit places from your previous lifetimes. Because whenever the Atma Karaka Dasha is there and you are visiting a place, remember that you might have visited that place already many, 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 many times before in some previous lifetimes. So therefore, if... It happens that you get a chance to visit a particular place. Well, then you need to understand there could be some deja vu there. <laughs> because this is not the first time you are visiting that place. All right. Sometimes people tell me uh, that they go to a particular place and they feel, oh, I have been here sometimes. And then when I check their chart, I ask them, did you go in this dasha in this year, in this month? And they'll, oh, yes, yes. And then I see... Uh, in their youth, that time you know, in their uh, late teens or you know, beginning 20s when they went for the first time, they were running the Atma Karakas Antar Dasha or their Atma Karakas Mahadasha started. So then this becomes very prominent. Okay, So maybe there is something there which you are finding, you know, maybe, uh, yeah, there could be something there, you know. So if you, ha if you during your Atma Karakas Dasha, if you went to a place and you felt a strong connection with that place, then don't think it's very superficial or just mental, you know. You might have been taking birth in that place for many, many lifetimes, okay. So try and to go, try to go there, you know, try to meditate there and try to, you know, try to find yourself, you know, why, why are you doing, you know, if there are some, uh, if there is some um, Gramin Devta or, you know, some specific, a DT there, you know, go to that place and go to temple. So, for example, uh, I'm from Guwahati. So, in case you come to Guwahati uh, in Assam uh, and you feel I've been here before, then go to the Kamakya Devi temple, offer worship there. You can go to the Namghors, okay, also, which was, which were installed by the great Shimanta Shankar Dev. And <clears throat> uh, 
uh, that will actually give you more boost and more energy okay so try to connect to the places that you go during the atmakarakas dasha don't just go there for tourism okay i mean you can go for tourism but also take enrichment and enlightenment okay and also take the food there <laughs> who knows maybe you get a new favorite food there or new favorite dessert maybe <laughs> All right, number six, you get a chance to elevate yourself spiritually. This is related to the people and the place and in general because the Atmakarka will, uh, Atmakarka's Dasha will uh, reveal your inner uh, spiritual consciousness to you, which means you might be able to see your weaknesses and your strengths and you may be uh, getting attracted towards a particular Devata, okay? you could get attracted to anybody sometimes you know hindus come and tell me you know they uh, they were they wanted to read the bible or you know they wanted to know more about jesus christ sometimes in the west when i meet people they say oh i want to know more about shiva i want to know more about krishna vishnu ram or ganesh or whoever that devata is and then i ask them you know and when i check their chart i see the atmakarka is involved okay so it could be that in Atmakarka's Dasha, you met, uh, you got interest towards that deity, or a planet is conjunct. So suppose Venus is your Atmakarka and Mars is conjunct. So during Mars Dasha also you can uh, get similar vibes, okay? Because the conjunction plays a role, its role, uh, anyways. So therefore, if you feel that uh, there is a strong connection that you are having towards a particular deity, you know, and uh, you want to read the particular scriptures. Uh, concerning that deity then please go ahead do it uh, and that will help you elevate your consciousness and read the puranas uh, connected to that you know so if you are attracted to shiva then read the shiv puran if you are attracted to vishnu read the vishnu puran Srimad bhagavat read the ramayan mahabharat and all this you know, that will help you grow spiritually and also try to chant that particular mantra for that uh, any particular mantra for that deity okay that will actually help you Number seven, very, very, very important. The Atmakarka's Dasha will give you a chance to change your worldview because the Atmakarka can tell you how you look at the, how you have been looking at the world consistently for life, 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 life lifetimes. This is my worldview. The world walks like this. The world should be like this. The world is always like this. The world need not be like this. So when you have your worldview, then you need to understand that uh, you you might be very dogmatic sometimes. You may be very stubborn sometimes, which is again not necessarily wrong. But you should be open to you know other uh, viewpoints and other things which uh, can actually benefit you. So if you are broad-minded and if you have an open mind, then your viewpoint can change. And if you change your viewpoint now, if it is required, then it will be changed for many many lifetimes number eight the atma karakas dasha can give you a chance to make new connections over multiple lifetimes so as i said in <clears throat> point number three that you get a chance to settle your pre-existing karmas but number eight point says that you can also get a chance to uh, make new connections with people over multiple lifetimes which means if you meet somebody for the first time during Atmakarka's Dasha, it could be having two meanings. One is, you know, you have met them previously or it could mean that now when you have met them, you will have connection with them for many, many lifetimes. So either ways, don't take it lightly, don't take it cheaply. So try to develop your connection. So basically, when Atmakarka's Dasha is there, you have to learn to be genuine. You have to cultivate, you know, genuine interest, sincere desires, sincere relationships. You have to be sincere, true to yourself, you know, find your life purpose, find your creativity, you know, try to settle your negative karmas, you know, try to fulfill your desires in your profession in a way that you like, you know, then try to visit places that you always wanted to visit, okay? <clears throat> so when you do this, uh, then your relationships and your personality will be very genuine and this will attract other good people also to you all right number nine very 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 important i've already mentioned this but specifically it gives you a chance atma karkas dasha gives you a chance to get rid of your weaknesses okay very 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 important because uh, weaknesses are coming from the six anarthas right 
काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मत्सर्य सो एक्सेप्ट जुपिटर सन मून द ऑल द नाइन ऑल द सिक्स प्लैनेट्स रिमेनिंग दे गिव वन पर्टिकुलर अनर्था ओके सो देर फोर इफ यू If you have weaknesses, you know you are too lusty, you are too angry, you are too greedy. You know you are always in illusion. You are always envious, like snakes. You know. Then uh, now is the time you should do spiritual practices and you should try to conquer over your weaknesses. Otherwise, it can be too late sometimes. Okay, because if you perpetually don't control your weaknesses, you don't get rid of them. The anarthas then they will keep becoming. bigger and bigger and they will consume you to such an extent that you will not be able to uh, be be a normal human being one day all right you will be so angry that nobody wants to stay with you okay number 10 equally important as number 1 as i said atma karakas dasha gives you a chance to forgive yourself all right so as i said in point number 3 settle your karmas with others in point number 8 i said make new connections with people but point number 10 is forgive yourself and also rediscover yourself make new connections with yourself talk to yourself sometimes <laughs> so <laughs> so the atma karakas dasha can give you a chance to to basically find and rediscover yourself you know understand that everything is not in my control i cannot change everything i and i need not change everything okay my your mind tells you that oh you need to change everything now but hmm, the fact of the matter is really uh, you cannot change much okay so therefore if you feel that uh, things are not going as per your expectation then and you have tried perpetually repeatedly you know 3 4 5 times then maybe it is time you let it go you know it will not happen okay otherwise you will only end up punishing yourself okay Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for your patience and please let me know down in the comments which among the 10 have you faced in your atma karakas dasha or which are certain other things that you have not uh, which you have faced but is not there in all these 10 things okay there can be a thousand other things so i'm very interested to know from you what are some of the things among this list of 10 points that you have faced and something which is also not there here all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there irrespective of which dasha you are in all right and for consultations regarding your horoscope please go down to my website down in the description section and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave thank you so much jai shri ram